Welcome back to The Complimentary, a show where I talk about something I love. And today I'm talking about Nausicaa of the Valley of Wind, the original manga that Hayao Miyazaki drew and was the basis for the anime film. This is the Viz release from many, many years ago now um, and is my primary copy of Nausicaa. There have been at least one re-release of this since then. Um... And most people know Nausicaa through the anime film. And that's kind of deceptive in the sense that when you think, okay, well, there's a manga, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> the film of Nausicaa adapts this much, just this volume's worth of the story. This is how much Miyazaki had created of the story before he made the film. And then he then went on later to do far more of the story than is actually in the film. Nausicaa is a true epic. That term tends to get thrown around a lot. Sometimes I think a bit too much. And uh, Nausicaa fits that bill more than pretty much anything that I, I would use that adjective for. Uh, it is set in this sort of post-apocalyptic future where plant life is overwhelming the earth. It has become extremely virulent. And um, uh, uh, this sort of jungle life and this... Uh, Oversized insectoid life, as you kind of get a sense of there, is uh, kind of overwhelming and driving humans out of um, out of the world. It essentially, is you know, killing it, killing it off. It's it's uh, all very poisonous, in fact. And that gets to one of the important things about Nausicaa is that Miyazaki conceived Nausicaa as this ecological fable, you know. The environment is fighting back against us, right? We, we have been abusing the environment, and so it fights back. But that was his view when he was originally creating the, the, the concept. As he aged, it took him, I think, 13 years to draw all of Nausicaa. His views on that matured and became much more complex. And it becomes much less this simplistic view about environmentalism that, you know, humans bad nature good, and um, it becomes much more about the question of how humans, um, how humans should think about the natural world, how they should approach it, that it is not simply some pure and holy thing that is, that where everything always works out. It is a system, it is a complex system that we have to live in. And as he later said, one cannot have a uh, fully complete, I'm butchering this quote, uh, one cannot, cannot have a fully complete appreciation of environmentalism without first accepting that humans consume, consume resources to survive, right? We impact the environment just by existing. And so it's finding out how to, to make those impacts responsibly and to integrate those into an environment that is kind of the key questions. But this is all told in this incredible, huge war story, fundamentally. Um, it is summarizing pretty much every Miyazaki theme all worked into this story. You know, people are often looking for, you know, uh, kind of the Rosetta Stone of Miyazaki in his anime films. You're not going to find it there. You're going to find it in Nausicaa. Nausicaa summarizes um, Miyazaki's stuff because he has so he has a thousand pages to explore all of these themes and to really get into all of this stuff. It is absolutely amazing. And the art is absurdly, absurdly detailed. Um, he has this wonderful European style to his artwork, this sort of Mobius-esque you know, European style to how he draws things. It does not look like manga. It does not look like um, other things. It's obviously, you know, it's obviously, m manga is obviously what he grew up with, and so there are manga elements woven into this, and your character designs and so forth are often you know, pulled into this. But, my gosh, there is so much in here about so many things about p 
peace and humanity and how we treat each other and responsibility and relationships and humanity as a whole science fiction at its best deals with these topics it actually goes into detail about some of about a lot of these these heavy heavy subjects and nausicaa does that nausicaa goes there with its story and if you've seen the anime film you know how that ends that is not how the manga ends the manga ends on a very very different note uh it is much more complex much more detailed there are moments in this manga that i'm sure i'll remember the rest of my life that were not in the movie um, and that movie is incredible, but the, I, I argue, I mean, Nausicaa is the most impressive work of the comic form that I've ever read, you know, period. This is what the comic medium aspires to in terms of complexity, in terms of depth, uh, in terms of breadth of subject while still telling a essentially an action story. There's always stuff happening in Nausicaa. This feels like a Hollywood film in so many ways, while also bringing up all of the subjects about why we do the things we do and, and how humans are. And the fact that you know, humans do good things and bad things, and and how we how we deal with that, how we take responsibility for our actions, and for what we we should do as people. Um, Nausicaa is deep, and so I think if if somebody's interested in, in manga, the, the difficult thing here though is that again this does not look like your typical manga. You know, you you're gonna recommend that, that somebody go and. Um, and read. Oh, I'm fix something a little, a little different there. Um, you're gonna recommend that somebody go and uh, get into uh, manga and start with Nausicaa, and it's like this is not what most manga looks like, really. Um, so you're, you know, I would not recommend that folks start here as a primer on manga, but if somebody's interested in comics, interested in in anything, you know, comic related. This would be a great thing to recommend to them to say, I, I don't care whether you like manga or not. This is an impressive comic work. Um, and uh, yeah, it's it's absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, it is in print in multiple ways. I should point out different translations have translated the terms in Nausicaa differently. So, uh, for example, there's the, uh, the Sea of Corruption is this giant jungle that's kind of overtaking everything. It's a poisonous jungle. And it's called the Toxic Jungle, I believe, in the anime series. And I think they use Toxic Jungle for the the most recent version of that, uh, of the manga. Uh, but I think it's called Sea of Corruption in here. So you know, you'll see terminology changes like that. Um, from what I've read and what, I, what I've seen, you know, every translation has, has tried to be accurate. It's just, you know, there are different ways of getting across the, poet, the poetics of some of these terms and whether they... They are meant to be translated, right? Like the om, for example, are these giant insects, which in Japanese basically mean, you know, omu is a, I believe, an ancient form of, or a, um, a, a more archaic Japanese word for insect, I believe, um, or at least a word for insect. Uh, and so the question is, you know, do, you, do you just call them insects or do you call them om because the word is meant to be a very... It's meant to connote something different than just a regular insect, you know, that kind of thing. Um, so there's certainly, I haven't seen any translation that I'm like, oh, that's, you know, that's bad. But yeah, uh, Nausicaa for me is, it's weird. It's very different. It is in this very distinctive black and white style that is brilliantly structured, brilliantly done. Um, I've actually spent quite a bit of time analyzing how Miyazaki uh, constructs his pages, constructs his panels, where things, you know, um, uh, can get very intense. He does not use, as far as I can remember, he does not use screen tone at all. This is all pen and ink. Um, and just using that to represent, um, 
you know, various things like blood and mountains and things along those lines. You know, none of that is screen tone. It is all just a pen on paper. And it's just absolutely stunning work. So, yeah, impressive work. It is, um, the, the Viz release was four volumes. I believe the current release is six or eight that are obviously each thinner and larger. So you get uh, this, this in a lovely, huge form. So be aware of that. Uh, yeah, Nausicaa um, is one of those manga that I, I intend never to um, uh, never to leave my side. I, I tend to always have a copy of Nausicaa with me because it is one of the greats. 